Hello, um, I've been making progress on my keyboard uh, connection with the Faro VM for iOS. As you can see here, I have Faro running on the iPad, and the iPad has been put inside this Bluetooth keyboard. So you can get the world menu and so on. Let's get into a browser, uh, a workspace. So, small workspace. And there I can type. So, for example, 1 plus 2. And so I can erase stuff, I can move around with arrows and so on. You can ask for a printed. You can go for inspection, I think. Yes. Oops. Um, you can also see, for example, one tiny, and you can do it to complete. And there's a weird thing which is that I would have minus something in there yeah, minus 457,000 bytecodes per second I guess there is something wrong here anyway, that's uh, still cool, system browser also works well, I've put big funds for you to see, but it's a bit annoying what I wanted to show is that Okay, arrows are also working. Um, yeah, so that's that's okay. You can also create morphs and oops, drag and drop them around. So this keyboard problem is is solved, and all the keys do work. So all this works. Accented characters, uh, normal characters. We also have big, small, special things here. Slash or something. Yeah, backslash. I don't know where I put it. Mm, I'm missing one. I have to add that. So minus underscore pound and dollar. And also, I guess I did some. Yeah. The diacritics is not is not there yet. And there is no escape key here, so I have to figure out a way to emulate. Maybe it would be command E or something. At the moment, it's not done. But that's it. And there have been uh, progress, and now I can use my let's say my iPad as a full laptop for programming uh, in Faro Smalltalk. So thank you for watching. See you. Let's see. No. There you are, here is the stack VM when you start it. Just starts pretty fast in the box. And there you go.